bunch. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or... And that's caught inside the 30. And he's brought down after a very nice game. It's a gain of 35. Pick it. That swung out wide to Harris. And all the way down inside the five to the four. A solid pick up at the goal line stand. I know what I would call on offense. I would go for it. And he's here. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Jalen Warren, his first touchdown on the year. And the Steelers' decision to go for it pays off with six points. An early decision point here, Charles. Maybe one we'll look back on later. They go on fourth and Boswell. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Here comes Darius Phillips out of the end zone. Now a hit and a loose football. And one of the linebackers has got it. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. They forgot where they were, perhaps. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. That is caught. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. A big gain of 39 on third. There's the arm strength that we saw in college and during the scouting process. And really, it's not just the arm strength there, but the placement as well. To me, that was an excellent combination of arm talent and accuracy. For the Steelers, they played really well in the win over the Raiders a week ago. And what I saw in film was a nearly unstoppable pass rush. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Mika Fitzpatrick. And the Steelers are going to have it here as they'll start at their own three and out. They're just looking for anything to grab onto right now, aren't they? I'm wondering if someone's going to take charge in the huddle. You know, we always look at look to the quarterback, but sometimes it's another player on the team, a star, a veteran, someone with some excitement and energy. It's like, all right, guys, let's shake things up and let's go because they still have enough three to go. Stroud looking to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Second catch for him today. From the gun on third down, here's Stroud. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find our line. Pierce will take this one in for a Texans touchdown. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. Now he's just in 15. Harris running straight ahead. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. They get 14 yards, but not enough for the first down. Picking now to throw off the play fake. And incomplete on the deep ball. That's a good call. 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 28. The drive still. The throwing again is Stroud. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Stroud now on first and ten. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the four. Here's the call. Stroud will look to throw once more. Over the middle. Now Stroud. Over the middle, complete. It's Schultz. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. 
Pass complete. George Pickens with it. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 to run. Double coverage could react. Throwing on third down. Here's Pickett. And he's going to go down. The Texans come at him and able to bring him to the ground. Malik Collins. They establish any rhythm whatsoever. I like how you come to us in praise of defense, Brandon, because that's exactly right. That was an incompletion for us there, but we've seen it throughout this game. Both of these defense coordinators, they're a step ahead of their offensive counterparts. A little surprise to get back on track. Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Now a throw here to his running back. Shoves him aside. Now he sheds himself free. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. This is turn and four. Pickett, he'll look to throw it. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it an eyelash. Dropped it to one. Now it looks like yeah, we will take a short break. They'll try to run with Harris. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Najee Harris, his first rushing touchdown on the year. And the Steelers go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Back to throw, pick it. Complete to Washington. Get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Now Pickett. Completes this one to Pickens. Boom! Still fighting for tackles. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. And it'll be second down. Here's Pickett. That swung out wide to Harris. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. On the give, it's Warren. Oh, no, he lost the football. Second and eight at the 27-yard line. And Stroud now to throw. He gets this one to Mechie. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Right for the taking. Could have changed the complexion of the ball game, but it winds up incomplete. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. Facing a third and 12. Brings up third and 12. Stroud. Over the middle, that's caught by Mechie. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 31-yard line. Texans passing game in rhythm complete. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Here goes Stroud again. He's got it to Collins complete on the end line. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. The Texans tried it, but they come up empty here. For these situations, when you have to get the ball back, everything you go through, holding up the runner, raking up the football, getting to the passer, knocking it out of his hands, whatever way, they have to get the ball back. Now can they stand tall again for a huge fourth quarter stop? On is the punter man as he boots this one away. It's fielded at the 45. Good news, but this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. Schultz hauls in the quick throw. It's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. Stroud will look to throw once more. That is caught. And they're going to get this down inside of the 20. Stroud to throw it. Wide open receiver complete. And now second and goal. Stroud. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Minka Fitzpatrick.
Patrick. And the Steelers are going to get the football here as the ball will come. It's kind of a, a check, as you said, for OK. Not great, not bad. Yeah, right now they're just holding serve. They look forward to their next four. Maybe they can make a surge there. So this one in the win column for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half.